Every building has a story, and the Besh Hummel Malton block is no exception. It begins like many in New Ulm in Germany. In the spring of 1843, 12-year-old William Hummel traveled with his parents down the Rhine River from Mannheim to Rotterdam. After waiting two weeks in that port city, the family booked passage to America with more than 300 other emigrants. Hummel recalled, The ocean voyage was a long one, made so by many storms and headwinds. By the time we had arrived at New Orleans, we'd spent 138 days on board ship. For a time, the immigrants had only pea soup to eat. 28 persons died, and seven babies were born. Within a year of their arrival in America, his father died in a cholera epidemic, and William Hummel was faced with the need to help support his mother and siblings. A boy on the brink of manhood, William had to choose his future. One choice was to work hard. He took odd jobs around Cincinnati, apprenticing as a tanner, then as a trunk maker, then as a boatman traveling up and down the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. His second choice was to reconnect with his German heritage. In 1850, Hummel joined the Turner Society in Cincinnati. He remembered, My love for German customs was reawakened, for I had forgotten much German. Moving to Chicago, he began teaching gymnastics at the Turner Hall on Randolph Street. When the Turners decided to establish a new settlement in Minnesota, Hummel readily joined in, moving to New Ulm in 1856. There he intended to follow the course that he had set as a young man, to embrace German culture and to work hard. He helped organize the young town's Turner Society and taught gymnastics in his new hall. He tried farming, operating a drugstore, and then running a saloon. Finally, in 1880, Hummel joined with two other men to establish the New Ulm Creamery Company. The dairy business was a success. We made huge profits, Hummel would later write. With that money, he invested in a general store on Minnesota Street. Then, in 1890, now one of the most successful businessmen in New Ulm, he joined Edward Maltzon and Werner Besch to erect a new business block. Together, they hired architect Carl Strzok, who had just finished work on the Brown County Courthouse. Strzok designed the new building with some of the latest styles in mind, incorporating the elaborate metal cornice, the four copper-clad bay windows on the second floor, and elaborate cut stonework. Hummel continued to run his general store until 1903. His building still stands, a monument to William Hummel's hard work. Thank you.